do. And got some nice loot from the king. You have no idea what you're staying tonight, and I'm not going to lie, I don't think I have any inns planned for this city. So you're probably just going to stay at the palace. Stop changing shit, Jory. Leave it alone. Have However, me do my job. <laughs> however, as you're walking down the street, a strange hooded lady bumps into you, Tori, and says, take it, and then runs off. Tori, oh. in your hands is a basket with a cloth over it, and some wriggling underneath the cloth. I aim, Maybe. The, I aim the thing over at, just in case, I aim it towards, um... I aim it towards Token Man, and you open are it. sick, I can hear you. Okay, you open it towards Token. You pull off the cloth, and there is a small black kitten. Make a perception check. Okay. Yeah, I get a pet. Um... Maybe. Perception check? Yes, perception check. The most perceptive of checks. Uh -huh. Can I ask some of this? It just looks like a normal kitten. Can I try? It's yeah, right on my face. Says. It meows and curls up in its basket. I pet the kitten. You pet the kitten. Anybody else want to make a perception check? Me. Go ahead. I'm guessing he's looking for it. 17. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> That's persuasion. Whoops. Either way, it's zero modifier. It's the same as guessing his perception. I swear! Oh, is it? Uh, yeah. Oh no, because... Per Thank you. He has a plus four to perception. Uh, you instantly realize, wait a minute, that's an awful strange looking cat. It's got three eyes. <laughs> the cat has a third eye on its forehead. I don't know. I'm going to pick up the cat and say, you are adorable. I punch okay, you in the you gut and take the, the cat, cat back. Okay, you take the cat back. Congratulations, you have been gifted with a... Three-eyed black cat. I'm never gonna Wait. tell any. I'm never gonna tell uh, her, or him, that uh, it has free eyes. Uh, I mean, I verbally stated in your character that you exclaimed out loud, "Oh my God, it has three eyes!" Also, he'll know sooner or later, even if he's being really stupid right now. Uh, is Maren with them? <laughs> yes, Maren is with them right now. Uh, you guys no notice really quickly that uh, Maren's hands look burnt. And her hair is jet black when it was blonde the next day. I mean, the day before. Uh, uh, I would like to counter, uh, it's still the same day. Oh shit, never mind. There, there were, Tomorrow you you'll realize! <laughs> no, she mm. was drunk and- she was drunk and passed out and we just left her there. I kinda put her hands in the fire. I kinda put her hands in the fire. Nope. Right, you I'm guys here. are in the middle of Main Street, all walking down. She is not drunk, she is not drinking, and she is- she is pregnant. <laughs> yes, oh. she is pregnant. Which everybody knows by now. Yep. Okay, there we go. Let me play this set up. Uh, when you cast it, you know how to work it, right? Uh, it jumps to the next target, right? No, when you use it, do you know how to use it specifically? Hey, um, next- Uh, melee it, attack. Cat yeah, make a short sword attack, and then the first hit does six fire damage on top of that, and then the- and then the second one there is the damage it does to something within five feet. Okay. Thank you. Nick? Yep. You were saying? Does the cat do anything special or anything, or is it just a regular cat? As of the moment, it's just a regular cat. Okay. As of the moment, I'm guessing it's going to change into something else. Uh, maybe. Could I do, uh, could I do animal handling to determine what kind of cat it is? Sure, go ahead. Wait, you're Rick's, right? <laughs> I am Rick's. It yeah, it's a uh, is a mutated cat. Homestuck. Really though, that's what I was thinking. The nuclear plant. It, it's Roxy's cat. It is not Roxy's cat. No, 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 it's the Witch of the West cat. Oh yeah, Roxy's cat has four eyes. 
This is three. Exactly right. Hold on, I'm going to post I think it was something. In here. I'm going to be posting something in DMD chat. Please tell me it turns into this at some point. No, no, it does not. Get that away from here. It's not even black enough to be this cat. It has green. It's a green-eyed black cat. Um. It, it might be demonic. You're not sure what it is. It's. It looks like a mutated cat. I say we keep it and keep and use it as our mascots. Yeah, currently as my pet. The furries. <laughs> <laughs> Oh <laughs> my god, I just realized what he did. I'm going he to go around me a character who had a, ca a character who had completely jet black fur. He gave me a jet black cat. That's a mutant. Uh, I'm but not going to lie. Fur. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I just You're rolled a die to see who got the cat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I re-rolled it when it rolled on Marum because I was like, nah, she's pregnant. She doesn't need a cat. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm going to get like city. Well, I'm happy now that I have a pet. Should totally give it to me because I have the animal handling. No, it's you would eat it. You would eat it. Use <laughs> you? I'm a kobold. I would put it to use. Yeah, I, I would be in combat at some point. That is true. He would do that too. Can he eat and a mouse no, one time? Uh, no. Rix has not so, eaten think... anything so far that you have seen aside Rick's... from his good berries. Rix eats good berries. He put a bunch of seen. coins in his mouth. Yeah, you I ate a coin. Now <laughs> anything mean. Um. So in the city, uh, there is an outpost for the Order of the Tag and Knights, which you could go check up on. Uh, there's a baker down the street who was seemingly giving off a sign that he might be a member of the unknown nobility. I thought you were and finally, no. And finally, Sarah actually knows the contact location for members of Amphirus. At some point, if you wish, you can go talk to them and try to find side quests. These will count towards uh, faction uh, quest scores. Could I make this cat my familiar? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. good. Really I quickly. choose to make this my familiar. Do you have the familiar spell? Find familiar, or what is it called? Find familiar, yeah. Yeah, it's find familiar. Okay, I'm taking find familiar. Well, there you go. Pretty wouldn't that be if you already have the familiar? Uh, you can use find familiar to make a familiar that you've met, right? Yes. I got the spell up because because for... well, that was not necessarily true. Because remember, we played really broken, but um, I believe that's how you do it if you want to make a familiar with a um, pseudo dragon. Albeit, it might just be pseudo dragons deciding to hang out with you for a while until you piss it off and then it decides, nah, I'm leaving. Uh, typically, familiars are supposed to be spirits because they can come back at any time. If you, if you choose a living, real cat and it dies, I don't think you can bring him back. I mean, I'm guessing. Really, I remember good. being able to make just a generic rat as a familiar. You gain the service of a familiar, a spirit that takes an animal form you choose. Bat, cat, crab, frog, or toad, hawk, lizard, octopus, owl, poisonous snake, fish, rat, raven, seahorse, spider, or weasel. Appearing in an octopus. Weasel! Yeah, pretty much it has to be a spirit of some kind, but it can take an animal form. Well, I'm going to tell you this. You can make that cat you're familiar with that spell. It might be, you might not be able to change the shape, but shit will happen. Let me tell you that much. Hmm. So essentially it'll act the same as a familiar, only it won't be a spirit. It won't be a spirit. And when it dies, you'll get in for a surprise, I guess, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out if you ever kill it. <laughs> if you ever kill it. Is there, any, it is there die, like a open market die. here? Yeah. Yeah, there's an open market. Can I try and sell this, uh, sell this owl bear pelt? Yes. I will uh I will take that and try and sell it. Get some get some money for it. I'm going to see if my document has owl bears in it. What faction was I a part of again? I wasn't Infer you guys Infer Okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna head towards Empiris's head headquarters with Sarah. 
Uh, give me a second. Uh, no, they don't have owl bear stuff. Uh, so. I forgot you had two pelts. Hmm? I only had the one. No, right, you only have the one because somebody fucking destroyed the other one. Sorry. <laughs> As he was trying to uh, make it his pet. That was not me. At least we I, finally gave I him a pet. I am also before I uh, try and sell it, I'm going to uh, I'm going to use my vial of perfume to make myself a little less uh, unpleasant oh, no. to be around. What is that thing, and why is it down the main street? I'm gonna come with him. I'm also gonna be put, putting up posters for my new night's order. All right, order of the beast going up around. You might as well call your party the order of the beast and just claim that your party is the night's order. <laughs> no, it's not. All these guys are idiots. So you've proven. I just I thought you wanted me to join your order. You can join, but the rest cannot. Tiny hey, dragon man. Uh, uh, <laughs> what is that? that that you have under your arm? His pelt. Big bird bear thing. Mm. Kill him. Good. I'm with him. Well, I just said, Big like bear. bird bear pelt. Say. Where? I was behind him. Oh, I say, oh, oh, bear. For three gold coins. Yeah. I tell him not to take it. We can get better offers. Ten. Oh, no, no, no. That is way upping the price. Four. Five. Is big scary bear thing. Very hard kill. Eight. Maybe for you. Five. Seven. I'm afraid I can't go higher than five. You'll Liam, have to go sell it somewhere Liam. else. Liam, you're there. Use intimidation. Aha! Ah. Uh -huh, persuasion. <laughs> I suggest you pick. Hey, can well, we get twenty gold for that instead? You wrote, you wrote perception, Liam, not persuasion. You rolled persu perception. Rick's rolled persuasion and got a two. I'm oh, sorry, hold on a second. Roll intimidation. Well, if that will be all. Uh, tag along. Liam, roll intimidation. I seem persuasion. Come Technical. on, this is a great deal. <laughs> I'm afraid that marking it up to 10 gold is not worth my money. Eight Nobody gold. will ever buy a pelt like that for 10 gold. 8 gold. I need to make a profit somehow. Okay. 7 gold. <laughs> I can't go higher than 5. How about 5, dude? <laughs> sure, 5 Thanks. gold. Uh, I was expecting him to go free then. I grab the five gold and I grab and I grab the uh, pelt and I run. Oh. Somebody arrest that man! I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, I was about to blast you with a guiding bolt for stealing my pelt. <laughs> Same. And then they would have, and then they would arrest Rex for murder. <laughs> <laughs> Roundabout. I was allowed to use magic inside the city. So yeah, five gold, you sell the pelt. That's actually the market price according to this chart I have. You sold it for five gold. Uh, with that, uh, Ser and uh, Marim decide to go meet up with members of the Inferus. Ah, oh, Ser, it's been a while. Who is this you bring with you? I am, um, Priscilla Knight Knighthood. You do not need to say your real name. We all know the rules around here. This, the, the fact in Ferris, in Ferris is a faceless organization. You don't necessarily know who <laughs> each other is. The fact that they don't recognize who I am is the sad part. I'm assuming you put your mask on. <laughs> Did you not? Madam Lundsmend! Why are you- what are you doing here in this fine establishment? If I have to say so myself. 
It's a dodgy underground organization's base. What are you expecting him to say? I don't know. I think Vamp died. Yeah, I oh no, I, I was reading what you sent me. Um, oh yeah. The, uh... Alright, um, I'm new to this kind of stuff. I was never bringing up to, uh, to spy on people. Up. Yeah. Ah, oh, but you seem to have the skills for it anyways. Well, let us discuss. I have a, uh, job that you guys could probably easily complete within the next couple days. What do you say? Interested in getting a bit of gold? First, tell me what the job is. The organization has dug up some information on a black noble. Set up a private conversation with him, as well as a representative of the organization. Inform him how he works for us now, and uh, I will pay you 50 gold. That sounds nice. Could I also ask a quick question? Sure. Do you is what what do I have to go about for setting up a quest for somebody else to go? I guess you'd have to have a reward and a request. Depends what type of quest you wish to go about. I, I ask them if they can dig up anything about a man by the name of Bloodwing. You're really forcing this upon me, are you? <laughs> hmm? Bloodwing, how do you know that name? I was abducted as a child by him. Hmm. I'm afraid that you're going to have to wait some time before you can gain information like this from our organization. Bloodwing has dealt with us before and is a very private member. But alas, if you can climb to the next rank, I say we can get you your information. All right, thank you. Okay, I hope to hear well about your uh, endeavors with the noble. All right. I'm gonna head off to also, go. Also, remember to wear your mask. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna head out to go uh, find dig up some something to do with the noble. Oh no, they already have something for you. They've given you the uh, the blackmail. You just have to go set up a private meeting with him. And by that, I mean break into his house when he's sleeping and alone, and then tell him that he doesn't have much I don't think choice. Cher should do this. He'll probably rape him. <laughs> Her name is Marum. No, because Cher's with me. Yeah. Alright, um, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go scope out his house. Okay. While you're doing that, what else is everybody else doing? Uh, I'm just putting up flyers. Everywhere. My character's just sitting there reading a book. I'm gonna go You're to the church. To go. Okay, you go to the church. I have a book. Here, it's, part of my, uh, it's part of my uh, little thing that I do. Visiting all the churches. You visit the church of Eltham in the city. Who is this? Ah, head priest, uh, Jackson. This is, uh, this is Rix. He, uh, appears to be a friend with the Duke. Earl. He's an Earl, apparently. I gotta remember that crap. What? And, uh, how did he get in the city? Yeah, through the front gates, I guess. Okay, just make sure he doesn't steal anything. Goes back to the back room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to uh, go up to the altar, have a have a seat, do some prayers, maybe leave a gold coin as an offering or something. Sure thing. Burn a stick of incense while you're at it. Uh, I do so have yeah, there incense. Are the, so there is the unknown ability. So I believe it was. Uh, I know silver was in it. Hmm? Zoan, what what faction did your character join? Uh, he never joined a faction. Okay, then you're factionless. Have fun. He can join my faction. You're not a faction. I'm making my own goddamn faction. That is going to be a problem. Uh, with that said, uh, Silver, if you want, you can go to contact them for a side mission. Sure. 
As you're sitting there on the side of the street reading your book, a uh, local guard walks over and sits down beside you. Why, good day, my friend. Same I take you. it you're a part of a uh, part of the nobility, are you? Am I? You are. <laughs> huh. Uh, yes, I am, <laughs> sir. Huh. I wouldn't, I wouldn't huh. have assumed I was. I taking... told you. I gave you the option to join it. You're like, yeah, sure, I'll join the unknown nobility. Forget it. Right oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> I thought you meant noble, as in I'm from a rich descendant or I'm royalty. No, no. It quite literally means you're a part of the nobility. Okay, that's what confused me there. A member of the local jury seems to be taking bribes behind the scenes to attempt to change the outcome of trials. If you mind uh, entering his chambers and finding proof of these bribes, uh, we will pay you some money. Ah, breaking and entering. Always fun. What do you, um, what, how much am I getting? 50 gold. Hmm. 55. I'm afraid that's not how the organization works. However, you will get renown. Faction okay, quests then. give you renown, which will allow you to get ranks. Once you get ranks, you can get stuff from the factions, such as uh, information in certain characters. I say, okay, then deal and shake his hand. Okay. I will be here around noon tomorrow. Okay, could you tell me where his house is? Why, it's uh, XYZ left up down the street. Ah, thank you. It's been a while since I've heard people describe where someone's house is in, in coordinates. Video game terms. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, so you can go over to that house and scope the room. Okay. Sarah's scoping out and everybody else is doing their own thing. So, um, Marim and, uh, and, uh, Tori, I'm going to get you to do some rolls. We'll assume okay. the day goes by and you guys all go back to bed wherever you're staying. Um, I grab I'm a assuming... last. I grab a last and pull him into the bedroom with me, in the inn. Uh, first off, I'm pretty sure you're staying at your house, not your oh, inn. Oh, okay. In my in my house, my bedroom's right beside my father's chambers. I'm going to be as loud as physically possible. <laughs> <laughs> Not again, as you slut! I can't get any sleep with this racket! <laughs> Marim, if you would please. If you're going to be that loud, use the guest room at least, for goddamn child. Ever oh, since yes. you met that dwarf, you've been off the hook. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes! <laughs> I'm going to pull on those ears! Those big long ears! Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you guys hear the sound from the window. She's pregnant what when she's doing fuck? this. Oh, and in this time, no, no, in this time period, they would have thought that that would still kill the child. She doesn't care. <laughs> she cares enough to not drink. <laughs> That's it. And barely that. Anyways. Uh, a silver. Roll a stealth check. I'm gonna use invisibility, actually. Okay, sure. Roll, you use invisibility. Roll a stealth check. Okay. What's he doing? Sneaking into the room? Yeah. Not oh. your room. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so much weirder, wouldn't it? <laughs> really oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Who's that making that noise? What's that racket? <laughs> Why is there a sw this weird slapping sound in the corner of the room? Tori, is that you? <laughs> oh, it's <Tolkien>. No. <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's Tolkien. A phantom. <laughs> um. Toby just walks in, like, closes the door slowly, like, sorry. Congratulations. God damn it, don't do it. Uh, congratulations. You easily and effortlessly <laughs> sneak into the, uh, the office of the jury manager. What, uh, uh judge. Her name okay. is Judge Judy. I'm gonna start looking uh, for the things I'm looking for. Make Don't a. Do it. She's too strong. Make an inspection check. Okay. Can I make investigation instead? Yes, investigation. Sorry. 
You sit there and look on top of the desk that's perfectly neat and nothing's there to problematically deal with you. You pick up one of the pens and you play with it. Ooh, this is a nice pen. And then you put it back without thinking. And then you look out the window for five minutes and just forget what you're doing here. Still invisible. Yeah, roll a perception check. Yeah, perception. That's even lower than investigation. You might get a higher roll, though. I Congratulations! Did. I didn't crit fail. As you look around, you notice that one of the books in the shelf seems to be sticking out weird. Oh yeah, now I remember why I was here. I go over and pull the book. You pull the books out and you find a safe. Okay. Since I don't know the pin to the safe, and I'm too lazy It is not to a pin safe. What is it? It is a key. Ah. Well that- well then. I choose to magic missile it. <sighs> I'm too what shall I get? I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Okay, How do you wish to get the safe open? Let's see. What spells do I have that can get me in there? Um, Burning hands. Knock. I have that. <laughs> he doesn't have knock, because he's an idiot. You should Just think about that. Totally have knock. Knock is the best spell. I don't know what to Mage hands are pretty funny. Listen, have mage you are an inventor. I'm sure you can make a key. Oh, yeah. Do you have lock picking tools? He can't no. use them, can he? I have thieves tools, but don't have any. Oh yes, I do. I have thieves That's tools. That's lock picking tool. Oh my fucking yeah, god! I know what it is. That's why I was saying that. I Roll a sleight of hand them. check. Okay. What? Not just congratulations. A tool check. Why does he have um, tools? Right. Sleight of hand and tools are often the same thing when you're not using tools. Congratulations, with your lockpicking skills, you open it up. You find a pile of gold, equating to 71 gold pieces, and a couple documents uh, showing proof of uh, dealings in the form of briberies. I take no, that I and the gold, but I keep the gold separate from mine. So I have proof, not just from the documents, but the actual gold itself. Well, you don't really need to prove with the gold, you just need the documents. Oh, then I'm just taking the gold. Okay. How much gold was it? 71 gold pieces. Okay. Oh, with that freaking, uh... You close up, you put everything back, and you leave. You can wait till tomorrow in order to uh, turn in the quest. Uh, that being said, somebody decided to go fuck somebody instead of doing their mission. I could do my mission after. Okay, fine. You finish fucking somebody and you gotta do your mission. I ask him if he wants to come with me. Sure. Why did you just say sure to that? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay. She grabs his Both face. Both of you. She grabs Roll his face. A stealth check. Goes Wait, wait, she grabs his face and goes, My dear, you can come with me. Like, I just came with you. Oh, or you could come on me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of oh, keep in my mouth for a second there. It's a love you. So! Okay, Sorry, uh, I just now to be in my mouth for a second there. Somebody else needs to make a stealth check. Dog, if you're going along, you need to do checks as well. Oh, yeah, I also sorry. hand him a really shitty worn mask. Don't you have like two I masks? Ask, but, yeah, like, I, I've got two masks, but one looks really shitty. Like it's like uh, you want a stealth the check, right? Thing that you never. Yeah, you yes, want a stealth. I want a stealth check. Oh nice. Um. You have a crappy. Oh no, I have a great one. <laughs> yeah, I have plus eight. Uh, sure, you easily managed to climb the wall, jump through the window, and you're now standing in front of a sleeping nobleman who may or may not be fat. May or may not. May or may not. He is snoring. Oh, no, I was doing it to the rest of the room around him. 
Uh, there seems to be only one entrance to this room. The door appears to be locked for security reasons, albeit the window wasn't locked due to stupidity reasons. Not thinking straight. It's not much in, there's not much in this chamber. It's just a side table. Uh, what appears to be a glass of water. Uh, as you check under the bed, you can find that there's nothing. There appears to be a dagger under his pillow. What was it that I was supposed to do again here? I can't remember. Uh, blackmail him. Blackmail him. Oh, okay. Ah, simple. So am I waking him up? Yes. Uh, I... S can, I use can I roll a sleight of hand really quickly? Yes. I'm reaching my hand underneath his pillow to grab the dagger. You grab his ornate dagger. Alright. It, it, it would be a crappy dagger, but a dagger nonetheless. It looks really nice. It's probably worth a lot. It's not really going to do much in battle, though. I grabbed it so he couldn't slice me with it. I know, I'm just giving you a description in case you decide to steal it. Oh, the bait! And uh, all right. the fact of you get the money from stealing it. I'm blackmailing him. Alright, I... Punch him in the face to wake him up. Oh, what? Who are you? What, what are you doing in my room? I give him another hit. <sighs> what is it that I'm here for the evidence for? What am I trying to do? You, uh, you're going to show him documents telling him that Inferis, uh, believes that if these documents get out, it would be a real problem for him. And that if he doesn't want anything to happen, uh, he best be prepared to listen to whatever orders Inferis gives him next. Alright, I, um, I, like, pound on my chest a little bit and I go, <clears throat> Here, here's some, uh, documents, read these please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, you do realize you have a special mask that basically prevents you from being recognized, right? Even with your voice. I, I didn't know it mumbled my voice. Okay, my character's still doing it, that. It. She doesn't understand. It doesn't, it doesn't mumble it, it's just like a, uh... It makes just, it neutral, like gender It neutral. confuses people around you when you're wearing it. She still does that! She, 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 she I'm Batman! She has pregnancy brain. <laughs> <laughs> What? How did you get those? Who are you? I am from Infirmer. I'm Infirmer. I'm Dark Knight. Infirmer. <laughs> what is Infirmer? We want, we want you to uh, read these documents. If you do not apply by these documents, you will die. <laughs> They're his documents. He knows what they say. <laughs> I don't know why I'm blackmailing him. <laughs> because the organization wants him in their uh, him in their pockets, and you're just being the face of the organization. If right you now. don't listen to the organization, you will die. <laughs> no. Uh, roll an intimidation check. <laughs> Instead of going with the fact that he's a woman, he can just plain make his voice even more women-like. I hit him again. <sighs> okay, I'll listen to you, sucker. Where the fuck is my dagger? You looking for this? And I stab him in the knee. <gasps> ah, what the fuck? <laughs> Here's your dagger back, bitch. You should have kept it. <laughs> I pull it back out and put it back in my pocket. Okay. Ah, you, you madman! You think you can get away with this? I am no man. <laughs> nah, you're like really fat. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can come into my house and blackmail me? That's I hit him again. You uh, fat bastard! Sticks it. Congratulations, you scared him shitless. He's now going to listen to the organization. Uh, you can leave. You ain't Not before, that. but you give him one more punch to knock him out. I hit him in the balls. <laughs> oh! That, that's for calling me a man! Sally! <laughs> Sally. <laughs> oh, congratulations, you get out of there. Uh, it's the next day. Alright, uh... <laughs> Really quickly, you guys notice all that stuff, the black hair. My bed is burnt to a crisp. Uh, fair. Or, uh, no, uh, Alas. oh my god. Yes? Alas. Uh, roll... 
a dexterity saving throw? Oh. At disadvantage. Oh, at disadvantage. Uh... Yeah, because you're asleep. Okay, uh, there you Let's just go really badly. 14. Uh, congratulations. Uh, you get burnt. Uh, not like fire damage, but you get burnt. And you jump out of bed. And you look down. And Merim, uh, there are holes in the bed sheets where fire seems to have been. Ashen around them. Uh, and her hair is now jet black. My dragon mark is also on and not turning off. Yes, her dragon mark is glowing vividly across her eye. Um. Okay. What did you guys do this time? <laughs> fiery I had sex, but that's sweet, kind sweet of sweet, fiery sex. <laughs> His balls were flaming last night. Too much friction. <laughs> Too much friction. <laughs> hey, and that was the day that he developed the clap. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Okay. Uh, with that, everybody who has completed a faction quest gains two renown, mark that down somewhere, and 50 gold pieces. There's one more faction quest left, but we'll leave it for now. Seeing as there's nothing to do in the city and it's going to take some more time in order to complete your items, it is recommended to you that you go exploring the province. Yes. <laughs> Everyone died, what is this? Well, I'm dying you... inside. Silver asked me if his hair can be on fire. And I'm gonna say no, because he's Fine. not a... He's not a fire against I. I'm a fire elementalist. That's what I was asking. Yeah, you're an elementalist, not against I. Huge difference. Maybe had you pick in fire sorcery or phoenix sorcery, I might have been like, yeah, sure, you're, the ends of your hair can catch on flame. But uh, because it's uh, wizarding, no. Mm. Your hair is red enough as it is. My hair is... Yeah, my hair is red. <laughs> so, do you guys wish to partake in adventuring around the province? Sure. Well, uh, we're adventuring. I'm going to set up more posters go... each time we get in. I'm going uh, to like to... I'm gonna I'd go like to just get some, ar some better armor first, so I'll just buy some chainmail. I'm gonna go hand in the quest. Do you know the costs? What okay. was it? I'm gonna go hand in the quest. Yeah, you already handed it in. You get two renown and 50 gold pieces. Okay. Uh, renown? Then, uh, just add it somewhere on the sheet. Unless, uh, unless someone in the party is willing to, uh, to loan Rick's 50 gold, and then I'll get splint. It'll pay to pay it back when I have it. I will. The rich All man right. says. Actually, I think I can sell back the scale for half price. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I have I have scale mail, so that would make it. So I just need twenty five. So what was it? What was it called? Oh, fuck! I'm actually a lot rich for life. Is two renown? Okay. What's going on? What did I miss? Uh, you you gain 50 gold pieces and two renown, along with Sarah. Renown? Where do I put that? Wherever I just you put want. In the bond. I just put in the bonds. Is that to my faction? Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, I have 181 gold by selling back that scale, so, so I only need to borrow 19 gold to get Splint Mail. Hey, uh... uh I hand you 19 gold. All right, I will pay that back at some point when I can. Well, my character goes, you don't need to pay it back. You're a good little kobold. And gives you a hug. Oh, who's a good little kobold? Who do you You are, you are a good are. little dragon man. By the way, have you, uh, have you used the spell to turn the cat into a... Uh... Yes. When did you do this? Last night, before I went to sleep. Uh, I believe you were busy last night. Currently, the cat is just a cat that you uh, have sitting on your lap or in a basket that you're carrying. Okay, before we leave, can I do it then? Sure. Uh, by uh, the way, as I've just shown you... I am now a pretty good tank. 19 AC. 
Uh, that is pretty good. For uh, by the way, here's the world map for now. This is not the full world, just the province or the country with the Empire of El Tildan. Just gonna have that written somewhere. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, we are not going to spread out to the rest of the country yet. But it's there, and there you go. That's a look at it. Back to the world map. So, there are three towns. We're going to focus on the tile that has Mount Montmend on it. You're not going north. There's three towns that you can go to. You can go south. Uh, uh, the northwestern road or the southwestern road. Um... So it's either Horndean, Tarstead, or... No. You These said... ones have not been named yet. Look at the map. Good. There are clearly towns on the map that have no names. Oh, okay. Which town are we currently in again? Um, we were in... Um... Marin Mountain. Mountain. Oh. No, you were just in Marin Mountain. Mountain. You're there. You can go oh, there. I say we go to that one. There. Or there. Oh, here. Oh, here it's closer. Oh, damn it. Yeah, let's go here. It's closer. I stop drawing on the map. I'm just indicating where. Oh, damn. If you want to indicate where, hold down the pointer click. Because it'll automatically show me what you're locating. Okay. I say we go to the closer place. Yeah, that's what I said. And here. Yeah, we're all yeah. going. You're going there. Let's go. Dun 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 dun. It's me, Ma. It's going to take two days to get there. But this area is relatively peaceful thanks to the uh, the patrols put on by Montman. Does that mean less fun? <laughs> No, not necessarily. You guys find yourself. Um, really quickly, I look at Alas and I go, Alas, how'd you like my father? <laughs> I thought I was nice. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's well, do he, this. He, he oh. wants to force a marriage between us. You did get his. When did this happen? What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um... I'm only thinking about this, but he probably will do it. He most likely just marry you while you're gone. Why can I not place these? There we go. Come on. Okay. So I seen a fire last night coming from the Motman win from a Watman window. Can you tell me what that was about, guys? Did, Did I? I said I was going around town putting up posters. Didn't say I ever went to bed. What? Okay, Liam has an exhaustion point. Okay, Liam goes for one exhaustion. So put that on your character mm -hmm. sheet. Damn it. What did you expect to happen from you pointing that out, Liam? We decide to go to Middlesbrough. Yay! A small village, Middlesbrough is a small lumbering town built around an inn, the Stag Pine Inn. Kind it's Parsbro! The Stag Pine Inn is the closest stop to the Calchester Outpost, which is the thing down south here in the corner. You have no reason to go to the Outpost. Don't go to the Outpost because there's nothing there for you guys to deal with. Guys, I think we need to go to the Outpost. <laughs> As you're walking through town, you can hear the crying of a little girl. I go check it out. I'm sure you do. <laughs> What's wrong, little girl? My cat got stuck in the tree, and now the tree won't give me back my cat. Can't tell the tree. Tell me it's actually an int. Can't tell the tree. How did you know? <laughs> oh my god, I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll tell the tree. 
How tall is the tree? It's a pretty tall fucking tree. Liam, Liam, it's an end. It's going to fight back. It, it, it's gonna, it's gonna do that thing in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna start chopping on the tree. What? Hmm. The one way I know how to get a cat down. Chop it down. You should not chop down the yeah, cat. Yeah, that's not a good idea. When when the, when the, talk, the girl says the tree won't give it back, that's a key sign that it's alive. All trees are alive, you sexist. <laughs> what does that make him sexist? I don't think that's sexist. Pretty sexist, from what I'm hearing, sexist. Huh. Racist. I'm sexist. Uh, with that, uh, with her giving you directions, you go over to fight the tree. Who are guys. you people? I have the key Zero. thing here. Because I have the key uh, weakness of this tree. Sarazo. Fire. As you walk over to this tree, it looks like just an old generic tree. You told me he was next to it. Let go of the cat! Wait, you just attack it? Yes! <sighs> I'm chopping it down. it down! There's only one way to get a cat out of the tray! We're actually fighting it in. Hey! Let go of the cat! <laughs> Everybody roll initiative. You did not expect this to happen right away, did you? No, I was hoping you'd talk to the end. You have an Come idiot. On, it's us. You say us, no, it's Liam. Fair point. Oh, we're missing Vampiric. Oh, dear. Kimmy's not here. No, Marin. You see, guys, I have the key weakness of this tree. Fire. Yeah, but the cat's in them, I didn't burn it down. Have you ever seen a man hit on a robot? I mean, I could send my cat up to get that cat. That cat, my cat might get stuck in the tree. Oh, well, you deal 8 damage. Then you deal 10 damage. You see, most of my spells are fire-based, so either way. No. Alas, it's your turn. Okay, uh, is he on? Next token, I guess. Yeah, oh, yeah, the tree. The tree, what? Yeah, we're you're fighting a tree. We're fighting a tree. It's, it's not actually I a tree, it's a it. it was an It's tree time. It's called a treant? Trent. No, a tree ant. A tree ant. He meant ant. Like oh, the thing. Sorry, the I put this to advantage on. No, no a tree ant. ant. Yeah, that's, it's an actual thing. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. But it's ant. not an ant. It's called a tree it's ant. ant. It's called does, a tree ant. Does that hit, Nick? Uh, what did you roll? I, 14 to hit. I accidentally Wait. rolled disadvantage, but 14 was the first one anyway. Um, No, 14 misses. Okay, is that going to attack? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I'm just gonna end my turn. Oh, that was a fucking miserable start. You missed a huge tree. Huh. I literally uh, missed both hits. What are you doing? Token, it's your turn again. I'm going to yell at the tree to let the cat down. Or there'll be more where that came from. Okay, yell at the tree. Roll, um... Roll Intimidation. Sure, roll Intimidation. Roar, you super weird asshole! Get away from me! Then give me the cat! What cat? Totally Somebody told me there's a cat stuck in there. I go up to the ant and say, do you know there's a cat in your head? Oh, I, I need to point something out. I appear to have messed up the size. 
Okay, I go up to the tree and I go up to the end and ask, do you know there's a cat in your head? Yes, it's annoying. It's not my fault it's up there. If I get it out, will you just plain will you just plain forget that my friend tried to chop you down? No, I deserve the right to punch him twice. I'll, I'll allow stab that. you once. Token you I'll already stabbed me twice. I, I stabbed Token, you, you fight once back twice. Punch You're Token, an if you... asshole. Token, if you fight, okay. Token, if you Shut fight up. back while he punches you, then I'll punch you in the dick with fire. And I'll punch you in the dick with my sword. Have fun with that. Now, okay, I'll try to get that cat out of your head. Okay, uh, where is? Roll a sleight of hand, I guess. Okay. I oh, just use mage hand. It's probably not that heavy. Yeah, I was going to just play in, um, I was just going to play in grow wings and fly up there and grab it. Okay, you grab the heck out of there. There. Uh, now, you have permission to punch Token twice. I hold up my shield. Those both. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. So, yeah. <laughs> I just played the thing for a second and realized, holy crap, I'm the asshole of the group, and I still thought the of uh, being the peaceful way. <laughs> Alright, I guess I will go up and uh, cast Goodberry and give them all the tokens so he can get all his health back. You return to town with the cat. Give it back to the little girl. This isn't my cat! <laughs> it's your oh. cat now. I leave. I say, oh, sorry. Grab my cat and give her her cat. Oh, yeah. Sure, okay. You do it that way, I guess. Uh, I thank you, mister. <laughs> yeah, I actually handed her my cat. For peacefully dealing with a treant. Everything is painful. Everything is painful. You guys get 2,500 XP to divide amongst your party. Jesus! 2,500. Hey, Man, it's about six months. So we're near like a forest Seven. and stuff, right? 460. Yep. You're actually in a forest. It's a logging town. Could, could I uh, could I wander off into the woods and see yeah. if I can see oh, wait, if no, I can only, uh, get something? I want to... Uh, I went near verse five of us. Uh... In the uh, in the Volo's Guide to Monsters, yeah, there is a specific type of kobold called the Kobold Inventor, with a bunch of special inventions. I know, and one of them is a skunk in a cage. Okay, make uh, make survival checks to see whether or not you can find a skunk. Aww. So far, you have no trail. You're just wandering around aimlessly in the woods. Uh, the rest of the party do not know where you've run off to, and have decided to bunker down at the stag, uh, stag, uh, stag, stag pine, stag pine, at the stag pine. Yeah. Uh, it will be five uh, silvers to stay, not including food. I um... would my uh, would my medallion drop the price? You, Mrs. Oh, I am so perfectly and rich. Get in for free. So she does warn you that she has the right to sue you if you disturb the other customers. I'm going to say, I, I, I go to her and I go, I stopped drinking. That's I say totally it, I say it to what I was talking about. I go, I stopped drinking. And she just looks at you and goes, that was totally what I was talking about. And I look at her and my eyes start glowing. Oh, by the way, to those who don't know, at 5th level, we have 6,500 XP. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they knew that, because we all buffed them to 5th level. I know, I was just pointing out in case some people didn't how know. Much, how much XP do we get, though? 500. One second. Go to 500 XP. Well, one second. Can I do something with the barkeep? Sure, what? I look at her straight in the face, my eyes start glowing, and I go, What are you insinuating? Like, my emotions just completely snapped to a completely different situation. 
My, that you're I going to fuck somebody tonight and is going to keep everybody else up. I do the same. I point to the elf and I point to the elf we have. He's gonna, he, she's probably gonna fuck him. <laughs> and don't worry about the bed. I'm pretty sure it's gonna lay on fire. Rix, roll a survival check. <laughs> you found a trail. You know, Liam's kind of hard okay. to point. Rick's Roll a nature check. Oh, that's not good. Liam's kind of hard to roll that. Liam's trying to. Oh Liam's... my god! Kind of <laughs> I rolled a twenty, him. but that's a negative two, so. Liam's kind of hard to point at him when your arm's in a cast. Uh, I got crit. I don't think. Yeah, you're punched by the int. Okay, heal. Yeah, I gave him yeah. a bunch of food, like, like uh, good oh, berries. Okay. Yeah. What that those bones? Hmm? Would that heal his bones? I, uh... I act as regular healing, so... Wait, Ke Keegan, I, I walk over to you, mm. I touch your, your hand, and I... I heal you. Heal me? Not you. He's not hurt. I thought his bones were crushed. His bones were crushed, let's just go with... Role-playing, we're role-playing. Basically, every uh, time he ate a good berry something cracked and got back into place and it was this horrible long painful process everything say is his hit points were back there but his he still had a broken arm you fix his broken arm role playing guys remember um rix you are lucky not only have you found a set of tra a trail but you know instantly that this is a small mammo and is most likely a skunk. You find my You mean cat. a small mammal? Yeah. You said mammal. Yeah. Small mammal. Skunks are mammals, aren't they? He doesn't yes, find the yes, skunk. The way you said it was just weird. He doesn't find a skunk, he finds my cat. So yeah, he, yeah. Finds, he, he follows the trail all the way back to the cat. <laughs> um. Okay, so we continue down that. I guess seeing as nothing else specifically is going down. Uh, Rix, make another survival check. How do you oh, spell no. Okay, yeah, again? sure. Like, how does reading you somebody are else's spell book work? Luckily, still on the trail. Uh, that's a good question. Ask the person who knows. Zowen? Hmm? How do you, other people's, how do, does it work reading other people's spell books? Uh, let me see. Should be under your, uh, go. It should say you can cop. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to double check all of it for you. So thank you. By the way, guys, how do you like the music? Did we get XP for fighting that? Uh, five hundred. Yeah, we got five hundred. So six thousand five hundred should be total. Seven thousand. No. Seven thousand. Okay, thank you. Oh right, yeah. It's 7, and you said that nobody would know that six. We would have six thousand five hundred from getting to level five. Uh, yep. okay. So if you find another spell book, uh, every time you find when you find a wizard spell of first level or higher, you can add it to your spell book if it is of a level for which you have the slots for. Uh, copying a spell involves reproducing the basic form of the spell and then deciphering the unique system used by the wizard who wrote it uh you must practice the spell until you understand it sa the sounds or gestures so for each level of the spell the process takes two hours and costs 50 gold so a first level hour so spell takes two hours 50 gold a second level will take four hours 100 gold so on and so forth mm. and it's per spell so if you want to learn like like you, you got that spell book the other day. If you want to like learn all the spells in the spell book, Fear. you have to put them all into your own spell book, and you have to spend at least two hours and fifty gold. So a second level spell would be just um, one hundred gold in four hours. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that. Sure thing. You can do that tonight. Or, or hear me out. You can attune to your fucking cat. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, I thought I did that before we left. Okay, then I'd do that. 
All right, you did want to do that before you left. Okay, yeah, sure. You have attuned to the cat. You sat down for an hour playing with it, and you cast the spell on it. And surprisingly, the spell seems to have worked. The cat gives off a bit of a shadow step effect. You notice. Oh my god, a shadow step. Not really. It's just like... So So you know how shadow step looks in... um. Like, as the Minecraft fa uh, function, where it kind of gives off, like, a paw print and then it kind of fades like a smoke. Somewhat? Yeah, every now and then, the cat will give off one of these, like, little paw prints. It will fade as a quick, hard-to-notice smoke. Hmm. Okay, However, then. you're tuned to it, and it therefore acts as a familiar for you. Wait. I also now have enlarge reduce. Uh, okay. Now I need to try to figure out a way to speak with bugs. How much would you think it would cost for a medallion that makes it so I can speak with animals? Uh, I would not know the answer to that question, actually. By the way, are you going to name your cat? Sure. Uh, Give me a second. Is it a guy or a girl? Uh, you continue right on that trail. It is a female. Okay. Uh, congratulations, Rix. I shall name As them. As you round the corner of a small, like, little jutting small little mound inside the forest you smell it a stench so profound that you just know that nearby is a skunk okay so i has a it has a few, real name and it has a nickname i'm gonna send you the real name of the nickname I, I don't think skunks smell when they're not actively spraying they something. They, don't. They, do. they they don't have a scent they do they do yeah yeah they don't no, they scent. they they, do, they don't. They're... They have recently sprayed something, and its butthole smells a bit. Yes. Oh, okay. Prop themselves. Smell. Especially if they spray themselves. Back. Why? I don't get sick. Oh yeah, you know you're you're immune to it. I'm back. What's up? No. Uh, I guess animal handling to try and catch it. Uh, yes, animal handling. I'm going to put it at a DC of 15. Why are you trying to catch a skunk? 18 again! Jesus Christ! Congratulations! You caught the skunk. It's going to spray at you. Uh... Yeah, it sprays you. Okay, hey, buddy, oh, how you doing? <laughs> you don't have to make a constitution save. It's not poisonous. Uh, that smells thing. like shit. Uh, for the uh, for the skunk in a cage item, uh, it rolls initiative on its turn. It uses its action to spray at a random creature within five feet of it. Uh, they must make a DC nine Constitution save. On the failed save, the target wretches and can't take actions for a minute. Okay, congratulations, you pass. He did not know uh, that, but now he does. For Tori. All I, all I picture is Rick's just sitting there. Where did all my friends go? <laughs> That's right. Right over here. Just don't come over here. He did just kind <laughs> just of wander off on, on his own. And then we left him. So you, didn't uh, leave you him. now you left are him. in the middle of the woods with a skunk. I'm going to go looking for him. All right. Uh... I will. Let's try and calm it down with another animal handling. 
Did the offer it a berry. What are these rolls? Oh my god! <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to offer it some of my rations. Sure thing. And then I uh, will, uh, it starts nibbling them. I will I will I will Priest. carefully place it in my bag, in my backpack, and then I wanna. Are you gonna get a like... stink thing removed or something? I want to go and like lash together like a like a cage out of like some wood nearby, like just like sticks and stuff. You're just going to makeshift a uh, cage, okay? Yeah. Uh, You'll have to ask me. You figure out how later. to roll that. Oh, <laughs> uh, with that survival. Uh, Tori, check your character sheets. Yeah, probably survival. Okay. Eleven. Yay! Mm, you have some sticks. You think it's a pretty good job. Yeah, now I'm you then, You then pat it like, yes, and it falls apart. You really should just ask me to make it when you get back to town. Can I go looking for him? Oh yes, like walking wow. through town with a skunk would be the greatest thing in the entire world. He's planning on putting in a cage and walking back to town. This is a bit better. He's also not bag. necessarily the highest of intelligence. It sounds like something Rix would do. He's really not smart at all. So, uh... I could probably... I think I have rope. Probably some use some of that. Help lash it together better. Is there any other specific stat changes that would happen with, uh... With the, uh, familiar spell? Uh, let me check. Uh, Rix, you still have these pile of sticks here. You can try again. He just said he was. Would we go with the famili find familiar spell from Warlock? Like, the special one for, um... No. Because that's no, closer to No, because you're not a this. Warlock, you're a wizard, so you would use I know, the specific I'm just wizard spell. Actually, the... I know. The wizard one off to me. Okay, I'll send it to you. No, just post it in the chat. Oh, okay. Don't send it private, just post it in the general chat here. Okay. Posting it. Um. Okay, yeah, I have to give up ten gold pieces. <sighs> I don't think you'll have to give the cat one uh, ten gold pieces. Okay. Maybe some oh, yeah, it, uses, it, it uses 10 gold worth of charcoal, incense, and herbs to cast okay. a ritual. Then yes, it's going to cost you 10 gold pieces. Okay, congratulations, you have a cat. It cannot make attacks for you. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I rolled a 13 on survival, by the way. So we're deleting its claws action because it can't do that. I mean, it's still an actual animal. Yeah, but it's now you're familiar and can't attack. Hmm. I thought that only applied since it was a spirit. I'm gonna say it applies for this as well. Okay. Oh my god, I love Torg. You're right. Uh the familiar will have the stats of its chosen form, so it will have the stats of a cat. It is a cat character sheet. I just gave Tim a cat and renamed it and added the shadow step thing and removed the claw attack. Actually, you think I could just, like, find, like, a hollow log? Like, like a pretty small one that I can just fit it in and, like, block up one side and stuff like that? Block up like survival one side check. With, a, with a big rock. Gonna need a pretty high survival check. Ugh. Do not find a log like that. All right, uh, Rix has given up, and he's going to walk home with a or walk back to the village with a skunk in his backpack, eating all his rations. Sounds about hey, right. What's that, man? What's that smell? Jesus 
Rick's fine. Pet. Rick's fine. Rick's no, no. Rick's roll the survival check. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. You used up all your luck. Ricks, you are going in the wrong direction. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Okay, I'm gonna roll perception check to see if I realize he's gone. Sure. Yeah, you realize Ricks is gone. Okay, I'm gonna go looking for him. What would I roll for that? Uh, nature with advantage if you want to use your cat, I guess. Okay. I think that's fair into Zoan. You know what this reminds me of? That one scene from Malcolm in the Middle where Dewey goes on an adventure and gets lost. <laughs> oh, it's when he, when the uh, when the woman that he that's babysitting him has a heart attack and then he goes that's, on like yeah, a long that's, that's trip. That's what it I'm was, talking about. The same smell. episode. So, <laughs> Ends up in a stop. desert. <laughs> Beauty would help me with this. I am I am traveling. than Rex. But I shouldn't be. Hey Rex. You're not surprising. I have better survival than you. Uh, Tori, I believe I told you to make a survi uh, survival check, not nature. Oh, sorry. And you then he's lost nature. too. I know, I just <laughs> messed up. You guys are all going to be stuck in the woods. Yeah, I'm, I'm also going to go into the forest. Uh, yeah, sure. You, uh, you find the path of uh, what appears to be a little kobold. Okay. Uh, Rix, make another survival check. Rix, you just stop <laughs> and look to your right and see a uh, a butterfly. You have no idea why there's any butterflies <laughs> in this night, but you decide to go and try and catch it. Tori, roll a survival check. You're hot on the trail. Your cat seems to have picked up something, but its face seems to be kind of distorted. Like, it's unpleasant. <laughs> Did I catch it? Ricks! <laughs> you caught the butterfly! <laughs> Alright, Rix is going to bite down onto it. <laughs> Please tell me I just find him eating a butterfly. I feel like he's done this before. Tori, make a survival He did check. it with a bee. Uh, you stumble across a clearing. It's the moonlight now. It's probably around midnight. And you just see this tiny little cobalt chewing on something and what appears to be a butterfly wing sticking out of its mouth. I just plain yell Rex. Rex, take that out of your mouth. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. Me? Oh yeah, Rex I can turns smell. into a werewolf. But it's not spraying no, me. No, it's a were-butterfly. Yeah, but you can smell Rex. Oh. Oh, not an advantage. Of seven, I failed. You failed, you just vomit instantly. Oh god, what is that smell? I find pet! It better not be a skunk. I ah. find pet! I find pet! <laughs> better not be a skunk. I find pet. Hey, uh, Nick? Yes. Could I start going into the woods? No. It's night time, the best time for no. animal hunting. No, you're going, going to bed so that Damn. you can dream of your lovely lord and savior, Yanagu. Who's you? Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Do I just plug my nose and drag him back to town? That's about midnight now, isn't it? It's past midnight now. You found we him at camp? midnight. Sure, just do something. Oh my god, like, it's, I'm, it's, gonna, I'm gonna roll out a, a bedroll and get nice and comfy. I just said, sure, but do something about that smell. <laughs> it's one of these episodes. It's a filler arc. Oh well, yeah, no, this, <laughs> no, this the next That's couple weeks are going idea. to be filler. Yeah, the next weeks, a couple weeks are filler while I continue working on the campaign. Okay, so what do we do? What am I? How would I stop the smell? Plug your nose. That's what I'm doing. I have to sleep. Uh, doing a quick search. How to remove skunk Oh, I know smell. how. You need a bath of uh, tomato. You need tomato juice. Well, 
It doesn't sound like you're in luck. I don't think there's any tomatoes in the local area. Or oatmeal. Oh, you could do oatmeal. Or oh, pickle juice. Out. You need to take a bath in oatmeal. Okay. Or pickle juice. We need to remove that thing. Like that pickle juice. Thing, thing the spray. It stinks. Then no use. Hole. Need spray. Good. Well, like take the spray and get rid of the skunk. No. Then can't produce more. What? I get rid of skunk. You get rid of cat. Only fair. You guys are noticing that it's actually kind of hard to see the cat. It blends in rather well with the shadows. You know, you would think that I would be able to tell where it is due to it being it's, tuned it's, me. It's it's Cher's sister. Yeah, it's something like Cher. It seems to have similar properties of being binded to a shadow. Mewdy, where'd you go? Yes, my cat is Mewdy. Mewdy is just sitting on your shoulder. It's just really hard to see. Oh, wait, there you are. So you guys bunker down and camp for the night. It's the next day. Uh, everyone at the end has no fucking clue where uh, Tori and uh, Rix have run off to. Okay, can I do that now? I thought you were going to put up flyers all over town. Later, later. I'm going to go into the forest. Okay, you're going to the forest. Roll, roll a survival on. check. Roll a survival check, Crimson. You find a trail. <clears throat> roll another survival check. You lose the trail. God damn it. Would there be any items to make it so we couldn't smell it? Uh, not available to you. I mean, you could, you could, you could take some charcoal and put them in like a rag and cover your face with that. Uh, you could. He's, he's probably got charcoal. On... That's a that's a component. Oh yeah, you could it is. throw on count. the. Uh, you could throw on the um, the perfume and try to fight it. <laughs> That I too. Oh well, no! I used the perfume when I was when I was selling. Oh, you my, used all uh, of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. You could smoke a lot of marijuana and just claim that it's the same smell. You could use the incense. I think incense uh, is a smell. Uh, incense is a smell. Yeah. Okay. I start burning the incense. Uh, uh you Jesus. just dump uh, a bucket of incense ashes on well, it sticks so I, I just like light up like four sticks of incense yeah but you, you have to burn his them head. first <laughs> yeah he just has like two incense sticks sticking out of his ears kind of slowly burning it's it's like uh it's like spark sparklers yeah just sticking out of his <laughs> so do you guys here. decide to head back to town yeah you you friend you help Sure. sure. Wait, where did my tools go? I'm I'm looking at my tools. Why do I only where did my um Tinker's tools go? I don't know, you tell me. They're not listening to there anymore. Tinker, tool it up. You grab some wood. Whatever they're gone from there, I don't know where they went. So Roll a dexterity throw then. Okay. You whip up one of the best damn cages you've ever seen. You even had time to put some embroiderment in it. There's skunks on the side. Also, awesome. there's a caution sign on it. Yeah. Hey, Nick. Yep. Instead of looking for those two, I say, fuck it, I'm going to look for an animal. Okay, roll survival check. Uh, yeah, you find, a, uh, you find a trail. Roll a nature oh, check. This sucks, guys. I was expecting you guys to have, like, a touchy-feely moment where you guys talk about your lives. Instead, you just perfume. It's kind of difficult with that smell, Jory. It you seems really to be some sort of... Kind of stuff. The, the biggest it. idiot in the, the trail. Group. The trail seems that you seem to be following seems to belong to some sort of 
lizard type creature. I'm gonna keep a survival check. Damn it. You lose the trail. Roll a survival check. Trying. You fall over the ledge and fall into town. God damn it, I'm gonna go back into the forest and try again. Nope. Uh, Rix and Zoan, roll a survival check. With advantage. Because of assistance, or whatever. Oh, it wasn't an advantage, but it still was 18. Congratulations, you find the main road and you walk back to town. As you walk through the streets, everybody is just, uh, keeling over and gagging. You smell... disgusting. Like, literally, I wasn't expecting you guys to stay in this town this long. <laughs> I really just want to really find a pet. I think For the first time in a row, I find a pet. Stuff. Yeah, I'm not Okay, you're, you want to buy a pet? No, he's fine. Sure, why not? Tools. I'll go buy a pet. As long as it's carnivorous. As long as it's carnivorous. You find a horse. <laughs> you find a horse. Something that eats meat. Horses can eat meat. You find a horse. Something that's not a horse. horse. You find a caribou. I don't want a caribou. Why would you want a caribou? Because I don't want one. I think you want They're a caribou. Awesome. Fucking, fucking, I want to mount a moose. <laughs> oh. Can we please hey, make it so oh funny? Oh my! What? He what? wants to mount a moose. He has a pet owl bear. No, no pet owl bears. Can't have a pet normal bear. No, no pet normal bears. Can't have a pet baby fox. bear. No pets. We already have two now. All right, shut up. We don't need pets. We already I have, have one. We already have vodka mutini. Screw your teeny. Is it supposed to be martini? I'm most likely, but I just call it Mutini. Because that's what it looks like it's spelled more than Martini. Oh. I don't know either. Okay, okay, um... Congratulations, the inn lady, uh, utterly disgusted by the smell, takes Rix and throws him into a bat of oatmeal. Did Rix even go in? I don't think... No, Rix just goes in. Would he even be oatmeal. allowed in? He found you. She Rick found just you. Eats the the oatmeal. I mean, he didn't. He didn't. Uh, he didn't actually spend a night there or anything. No, but uh, uh, Tori had paid for a room and returned with you, asking for you to be cleaned. Uh, right. The snook is in a cage. All I feel is is that Rix would be like clawing at the woman and stuff as she's like removing his clothes and pulling him into a bath filled with oatmeal. He's like no, trying he, to rip her face off. He sees, he sees the he sees the big bath full of oatmeal, yeah, and he just like dinner, <laughs> and then he and then he climbs in and he, he spends a good good portion of his time eating oatmeal. <laughs> Eat the oatmeal, and then when he's full, he gets out. Not when he's clean. When he's full. <laughs> He's clean by the, at that point, though. It'll be empty by the time. <laughs> it'll be empty by that point. Yeah, but it'll still be cleaned up a bit. I'm I'm tired. Falls asleep on the floor. <laughs> no, he falls asleep in the bathtub. Well, <laughs> um, so with that, you guys decide to head out to the next closest town. A foreign month. Okay, which town should we go to? Bournemouth. I feel like buying a small little custom-made set of armor for my cat, but I don't know why. No. Is that a thing? It, no, it's not, but I would just make it so it had the same stats as the regular set of armor, only it's cat-sized. That sounds kind of stupid. I'm aware, but you know my character, he's an idiot. Oh, just like normal. <laughs> a smart, re for some reason, most be smart idiot. 
He's he is a generic. He was counterintuitive. He is smart, not wise. Yeah, his wisdom is ten. There, like that's where you have to realize there's a difference between intelligence and wisdom. Mm. Intelligence is knowing how to breed, is uh, knowing how to bring a dinosaur back to life. Wisdom is knowing you shouldn't. Intelligence. Wisdom I is knowing that say intelligence is knowing how series. to breathe. <laughs> Charisma? No, no, no. Charisma is knowing how to breathe. What are you talking about? Hmm. Strength is having the lung capacity to breathe. Intelligence is knowing not to breathe. Not, 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 not breathe, breathe, breed, sex. Oh no, I oh, said they, breathe. Oh, sex. Yes, the D and D stats explained with tomatoes. Yeah. But there's no tomatoes around here. The birds and the bees. Strength is being able to cr uh, crush a tomato. Dexterity is being able to dodge a tomato. Constitution is being able to eat a bad tomato. Intelligence is knowing what a that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put tomato Wait, in a fruit, fruit salad. Charisma is being able to sell a tomato-based fruit salad. Okay. It's true. I mean, I've never anyway. ever seen anybody eat a, pick, eat a fruit Anyway, what, what's happening here then? Uh, you go to Formoth. Uh, oh, I found a good reason for me to have a familiar. Finally, when you cast a spell within the range of the familiar door. can deliver the spell as if, as if it had cast the spell. Your familiar must be within 100 feet of you, and it must use its reaction to deliver the spell when you cast it. If the spell requires an attack roll, you can use your attack modifier for that roll. So, are we traveling, guys? Yeah, I think so. Um, what time is it, by uh, the way? We're on I the road again. Uh, really we not As, as we make it halfway again. there, we're going to have to take a break. Oh, oh yeah. We're there. Whoa! <laughs> Giving birth to Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> the babies are twins, and I'm ripping my hair. Oh! Wait, is she giving birth? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Not yet, but. We're pretending she is. Apparently. He's the daddy. We're pretending what is. Sarah, you are not the daughter. I mean mother. <laughs> I mean father. Fuck. Um, really quickly, I look at Alas, and I ask him, Is your god- who- who is your god? A man came to me in my dreams last night. Wouldn't it have been a couple nights ago? Nah, it doesn't matter. I was having a horrible nightmare. Ooh, ooh! I thought that's a good question. I need to find. I need to find my name of them. <laughs> oh fuck! I don't even have. Oh wait, do I have a written name? Felder. Yeah, Felder. Yeah, Felder. Uh, somebody just posted a picture of an albino tiefling uh, drawn in exchange for a D twenty art OC picture, and I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty cool. Keegan should try to get our entire party drawn. He's usually pretty good at that. I mean, uh, fork over five dollars, and he can he can get, get that person free. who did the other person. Uh, if you I can get a, party, a pregnant mom, if, if you can get a party photo, I will put it up as the background image. Uh, and if you do it, I have but one request. Uh, please also get um Rory via Torum done because. Uh, he's kind of like the representation of the DM. Rory Viatorium? Rory Viatorum. Plus, you know, yeah. I just want like a proper picture of Rory Viatorum to use for an NPC character sheet. So you want because that as a separate drawing? You, uh, you can have it both the same, like Rory overlooking them if you want. We'll talk about this some other time. Okay. But if I can get like a special drawing, it depends how, uh... Is there any people who you have to draw who are willing to do a very detailed, specific drawing and use examples, or...? Uh, most because Rory has been pre-designed. Yeah, most of them ask for an example and stuff like that. And normally I don't ask the same person twice because that they you tend to think that you're just trying to get free drawings out of them and everything like that, and they tend to just... I mean, you are getting free drawings out of them, but you know what I mean. Well, they I usually you sometimes spec... They sometimes specify... They sometimes specify that they only do it once per person. 
Mm. So I need, I need to find a new person each time. That's why all the art I have always has different art styles. That's fair. If you could get somebody who was willing to, like, do for us consistently, if we could fork over some money for them. Hmm. Like, I, I know of people who do that, you can go find them on Reddit, but, like, I never find the person who has the exact style I want, or is, and I never have the money for it. Man, that person that did half-nip, though. If, if everybody... <laughs> that was a dollar. No, I'm talking about the other half nip. Oh, the half nip. That was a free. That was a free drawing. Half the kids in Moment are actually uh, Sarah's kids. I mean, the one with the slut. Yeah. Anyways, as you enter the town of Fornmouth, you see. Uh, you see a what appears to be a guard uh, rushing around. Uh, very, uh, disturbed looking. How many What's long wrong, rests have we had so far, guys? Hmm? How many long rests have we had so far? Okay, so we'd have taken... Two? So there was the first one in Montmond. It was two days to travel, so that's two more. Uh, on the same day you traveled was the night you stayed at Middlesboro. Okay. So four all together. Four days. Hey, do you- would you think that, um, would you think that in large or It's going to take like, another like four yeah. days to get the four mounts, so you're at, uh, seven days. It has been over a week since you have- Four plus uh, four is mind. eight. No, because it would have been three days originally. Okay. One day in Montmend, uh, one day off uh, on the road, uh, one day arriving at Middlesbrough and staying the night. And then four days after that, which I'm being generous, is probably more than that, to get to a four month. We'll say you hitched a ride with a wagon on your way. If we own a wagon. Do you own a steed? Mostly get one from his father. We were just there. Yeah, we were literally just with my father. If you guys really want to go get mounts, go ahead. Though I'm only going to say only like certain ways. For instance, if you want to get a mount from your father, it will be a steed. If you want to get special mounts, you're going to have to go pay for them yourself. Okay, I go look for mount. A mount. There are no mounts in four mounts except for I, a ca I, uh, ca I would cattle, say... donkey, and a horse. I'm gonna horse go look for animals. Hmm. I no would just say we got anymore. a horse from my father and took the I wagon. I go look around the. F I walk around the forest here and find a man. Sure, you guys are currently traveling, but there's no forest here. What? There's a forest right next to it. You're in four month. Oh wait. The oh, okay. you notice that the guard is still going around saying shit under his breath a lot and being very oh no. I'm, I'm gonna ask him why he's saying shit under his breath. Also, you're saying it very loudly. Someone has stolen my sword. Oh, you mean mm. this sword? Why don't you just get a if new? If my superiors on? find out, they'll use me as an example and make me a laughing stock. Listen, why don't you just if buy you find my sword. If you find my soul and stolen sword, I will give you two healing potions. Why don't you just buy another sword? Because maybe he doesn't have the money because he has two healing potions. Or I maybe ask him, because there's no swords that are made like that here. I, um, I, I go, I am Marin Montment. What is your name, sir? Uh, Glenn Collins, ma'am. Oh, you, you, you don't, you don't need to bow. Uh, and, he, he he saluted, but okay. Uh, you can um, throw. My... You, can... <laughs> you don't need to bow. Uh, he's just standing there saluting, looking very confused. <laughs> you can uh, you can throw that asshole into the stockade for me, please. Hmm? Which asshole? Uh, the one that keeps calling me a slut. You can try. Isn't that everyone? Really? No. <laughs> he's the only one that's calling me. I mean, Ooh. your father's called you a slut. <laughs> Everyone's called you that at least she, once. She's got pregnancy brain, guys. She's really cranky. 
So who said slut and who am I throwing into the, you know where? Liam. Uh, Liam. Not Liam. Tian. Okay, okay, so I was like, okay, okay. he goes sent for the sword. Token is thrown into the stockade. Just find my sword, please. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Um, I I say, okay, Muni, can you get the sense of the sword? Uh, Muni, uh, paws over to the guy and sniffs his boot. And then, uh, starts walking through town. Roll a, uh, advantage to fix <laughs> these skunks and good bears. Okay, advantage Skunk feel on good. Skunk feel good. Um, advantage on a survival check. Okay. Okay, you seem to have found the trail, uh, but for some reason, the cat seems to be leading you out of town. Roll another survival check. At advantage? Yes. Damn, you're good. You walk over to a hillside where there is a sword sitting there. Guy left it on his break. I grab the sword and start walking back. You return to town and you give him back a sword. Well, thank you, thank you. Here's your healing potions. Glenn Collins! <sighs> yes, sir. Did you lose your sword again? No, sir. It's it's on me. Don't lie. I saw you getting uh, it back from that adventurer. One second. Silly fool. I, I look You'll at be the laughing stock of this town. Okay, wait, wait. I, I, I look, look at him really quickly and I go, Who are you calling an adventurer? And this man, he should be praised. No, no, Jory, Jory, trust me. I tell him, Oh, no, sorry. I was just asked. I let... I asked if I could borrow his sword for what, a second. What are you doing, Keegan? I'm a noble. He, this guy would know who I am. Instantly. Of course I know who you are. And I know that you're currently knocked up by the looks of it. Do you want to be thrown in the stockades? I'm afraid I own the stockades. I will have you stripped of all titles and give it to this man. <sighs> Collins, I wish to see you in my office tomorrow. Is he even able to do that? You guys have two, uh, two uh, potions of healing now. Okay, I'll grab uh, And with you. that, we're actually going to end it here. But there's one more quest at the last town, though you're going to have to cut through some bush in order to get to it. I have the fire. The town of Toe up north. Goodbye. Is there a forest fire? So we're in the uh, cool. Oh, uh, Nick? Yep. Um... The reason I was saying the warlock thing was because warlock's um, a pact of chain is closer to a real life familiar, like a real living familiar, than the actual. Yeah, no, it's an I, imp. I'm aware, but it's an imp. Well, it can be an imp. It doesn't need to be an imp. No, no, it is an imp. It just takes it's on the form of another animal. Hmm. We already went over this with the a other demon. day. We we went over this the other day with my other character. Hmm. Yeah, I was suggesting that because they are able to attack. So, uh... I won't be able to post next Saturday. Anybody, any any ideas if there be a day before then that would be better for all of us? Uh, Friday? Anyone else? Friday? Yeah, I'm fine with me. Sure. Uh, I think, I think we all do so. have Friday off, don't we? Yeah, it's holidays. It's good Friday. Guys. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing anything on Friday, so...